Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen? My name is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Today I want to share with you how bad posture affects your health and what you can do about it to once again straighten out your posture, have alignment in your spine, and uh, not let bad posture affect your health or bad posture habits or bad posture become a habit and then affect your health negatively. So. First things first, I'm going to share with you the top kind of three reasons or three effects, if you will, of bad posture and then three or four different things that you can do about it to straighten out your posture and make sure you have a good postural uh, habit and, and kind of rejuvenate your posture again. So the first uh, kind of interesting fact about bad posture is that it actually affects your mood and uh, San Francisco State University did it. San Francisco State University did a study where uh, they found that bad posture basically made people more depressed. They took two groups of people, one of them walked down the hallway like this, and one of them skipped down the hallway happily, uh, or not happily, but just skipped, and they found that the group that had bad posture was more depressed and more uh, sad and just didn't feel as well, whereas the group that skipped was happy and vibrant and felt better. Uh, not only does bad posture affect how you feel, you know, mentally, uh, your brain chemistry, that kind of physiology has an effect on yourself, but then also uh, in the workplace, in your career or in your relationships, bad posture is seen as low confidence and uh, just someone that isn't uh, kind of self. Uh, reliant or independent or a leader uh, or someone that isn't uh, kind of powerful in, in their own skin or feel comf even feels comfortable in their own skin. So having good posture makes you feel better, makes you when you look at the mirror feel better, but then also other people see you as uh, happier, healthier and, and it kind of gives you more opportunities in life and career and in relationships and things like that. So that's the first uh, negative effect of bad posture. The second negative effect of bad posture is it actually affects your digestive health. Because what happens is that when you have bad posture, you're actually uh, you're actually crunching over. So, for example, if you're sitting at a computer and you're working like this, you're actually squishing your intestines together. And your intestines, when I'm standing up straight like this, and this is actually really standing up straight. I think my posture is kind of bad in videos. Uh, when I'm standing up straight like this. I'm stretching out my abdominal region and stomach and therefore my intestines, my internal organs and really all of my digestive system is stretched further and allows my digestive system to be more open to have more room and more space and that provides more room for oxygen, more room for flow, more room for uh, just doing what it needs to do. But when you're, when you're crouching in a bad posture, you're kind of squishing those organs and you're, you're, uh, you're crushing them in a way that doesn't allow them to function optimally. So that's why a lot of practices really open up your body uh, because we become so closed with working at computers, sitting in cars, sitting on couches. Uh, and our, our whole kind of modern first world society is suitable towards bad posture. It really puts us in a bad posture uh, position or position throughout the day. So it's important to do exercises that are helpful for kind of uh, creating an opposite effect on the body. But that's the second effect. Bad, uh, bad posture is really bad for digestive health, specifically intestinal health and kind of squishing and uh, getting your intestines in a position that doesn't allow them to be open and allow food and nutrition to funnel through there and do what it needs to do. Uh, the third effect is really, it's just, well, there's really multiple third effects, but it affects, it, it affects your circulation. It causes poor circulation because when you have bad posture, uh, you are uh, closing pathways and you're restricting circulatory flow. So circulation, your vein, your, well, your arteries and then your veins, uh, the more open they are, the better your body will circulate blood. When, and when you circulate blood better, better you circulate nutrition better, you circulate uh, oxygen, you circulate hydration, you circulate everything you need better when you have better circulation because your blood carries everything. So you, you need to have good posture to have good circulation. So bad circulation is one of the effects bad circulation obviously can lead to joint pain or not recovering muscles or you know uh, just really all sorts of issues in the body. Uh, also your nervous system is affected if you have bad posture. You can, uh, your nerves can get, uh, if it's really bad posture, your nerves can get pinched but if it's even just slightly bad posture, it can weaken your nerves because your nerves, once again, if you look at, for example, a tree that grows out of the ground, it has its roots and then the, the, you know, the base of the tree and then the tree trunk and then the branches and the leaves. The more room and space it has, the more it can grow, thrive, and flourish. Your body's the same way. If you have bad posture, and you've, you've, we've all seen this before, a tree that 
goes up against a building or a brick wall or cement or something like that, it starts to warp the tree and affect the tree and it can't really grow to its, to its fullest and highest expression of itself. So our body is the same way. Our posture is the same way. And when we have that posture, it affects our nervous system, our circulation, and our whole spinal column and our musculoskeletal system, which causes us uh, to, have, to really be weaker, uh, more tired, and potentially have uh, you know, weakened joints and muscles and circulation and, and all these other types of things. So it really affects your brain health, your, your, your uh, digestive health, as well as uh, your muscles and, and uh, just your posture and everything. Along, you know, your posture can go all the way down the line to um, you know, walking and knee pain and, and things like that because if you have bad posture, it can affect the alignment of your knees and once your knees get off a little bit, then you start getting knee pain and your whole body can have basically joint pain, nerve pain, back pain, lower back pain, obviously all the pain within your back and, and neck uh, can be due to bad posture as well. So a lot of pain throughout the body, but also just feeling down, depressed, and sad could be bad posture uh, as well as digestive health. So that it really, really affects a lot more than you would think. I mean, you'd think, okay, bad posture, uh, you know, it just makes me feel you know, a little bit blah, blah, or whatever, and that's part of it, but a lot of it is pain from, you know, your, your neck all the way down your, your whole spine, uh, and your nervous system throughout your back, your circulation throughout your whole body, your knees, your legs, I mean, it can literally affect your whole body. So what can you do about it? If you have bad posture and you know this and you're aware of this, and I actually know that my posture isn't the greatest at times, I actually have bad posture at times because I work at a computer desk and it's, it's sitting down and sometimes I get, I find myself kind of like this. So I need to do things to straighten out. So there's a few things that you can do. The first thing I recommend doing is getting a yoga swing or an inversion table. I have an inversion table personally. I bought the inversion table before I knew yoga swings existed. Yoga swings are a little bit cheaper. I, overall, I believe, because it's just a, like a nylon type swing, or not nylon, but it's a threaded type swing that you just drill into your ceiling and you can use it in many different positions and ways. Whereas an inversion table is a metal constructed thing and you sit, you lock your legs in and you just lay back. So inversion therapy using a, a yoga swing or an inversion table is great because you hang your legs and then you hang upside down and it stretches out your spine and it allows circulation to, to go, uh, to move up this way as you're hanging upside down. So it uses the gravitational force that holds us down and causes us to uh, get bad po posture at times because we don't stay strong because we're fighting gravity all the time. It uses that in our favor and we're hanging upside down and it just stretches everything out. So I hang on my inversion table once a day usually if I can, if I'm at home, and it really stretches out my back and I can feel my blood going from my legs and getting up here and really just kind of moving my, my shoulders, my chest, my lower back, my neck, and really just stretching everything out of my spine. So yoga swings or inversion tables are great. Another practice you can do is yoga, yoga, uh, restorative yoga, uh, hatha yoga, um, you know, um, Bikram yoga. There's a lot of different types of yoga. Yoga is just great because it helps to really, it's really the best uh, physical exercise you can do to open up your back, your spine, your neck, your shoulders, your lower back, uh, your hips really all of the main areas that you get bad posture and where that bad posture starts. So yoga is an amazing practice and you can find the best uh, specific yoga practice for you in your life that works for you. So try different forms of yoga and different yoga teachers and just see what works for you. Uh, you can also uh, use the sauna. Uh, saunas are great because uh, it's warm and, it, and once your body is warm, uh, if you just lay down in the sauna, that heat can really kind of help to relax your nerves and your muscles and in your back and help you to just kind of relax and I would just recommend laying down flat in a sauna uh, because it just kind of allows you to kind of loosen up your back and your posture and kind of rejuvenate things again. Uh, you can also take different minerals that help to loosen up the back and spine. Sometimes if you have bad posture for a longer duration of time, what happens is that your, your spine and your, your, uh, your back and your neck and your vertebrae and all these things, uh, if you have too much calcium in your body and not enough magnesium because you, know, you have too much calcium in your diet and you don't have much magnesium in your diet, your spine, uh, you can actually get uh, calcification on your spine, which actually starts to harden your spine, which means that your bad posture starts to become permanent. And that's when you see people, uh, you know, walking on the street, old people, and they look like this. You know, they walk literally like this, and their spine is curved uh, permanently, and their back has become, and their posture has become calcified, 
So magnesium, you really want to get magnesium in your diet. I recommend a high, a high magnesium diet with even magnesium supplements. Uh, and another great mineral is phosphorus. Phosphorus and magnesium both help to balance out that calcium. So if you do have excess calcium in your body and calcification on your spine, your, your back or your neck or anything that's kind of holding uh, you in a bad postural state, those minerals will help to loosen up the calcium. And then when you start to do exercises along with that, it helps to start loosen things up and get you your straight aligned posture again. So look into different minerals. I have an article right below this video with all this information and specifics. So just click the article right below this video to learn more. Uh, another thing you can do is get chiropractic work done. Chiropractic work is great because uh, it you know, strains out your spine and back and kind of helps to reset your spine and back. The only issue with that is you can become dependent on bad posture and just keep going to the chiropractor. Uh, so I recommend doing things like yoga, inversion, and mineral. I recommend doing as much as you can because it's all good for your health regardless. It's all good for your circulatory system, and it's all going to be beneficial in different other ways as well. Uh, so the chiropractic uh, is still great, though. Uh, another thing you can do is NSA. It's called not NSA, like the National Security Administration. NSA also stands for... Uh, Network Spinal Analysis, I believe. I want to say, I just remember how to say it's Network Spinal Analysis. Uh, it's similar to chiropractic. They work with more of the muscles and, and uh, nervous system, I believe. I, I know it's muscles and ligaments, tendons, nervous system. Not really your spine necessarily, but the muscles and nervous system, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't done it yet, but I'm, I met a guy that does this, has this practice, uh, NSA practice. And uh, it's similar to chiropractic, but they they use your muscles and things like that to really get those aligned so that those naturally align your spine and, and your posture. So I haven't had NSA work done yet, but it is interesting and I have heard great results, so something to look into. So those are just a few things you can do to, to uh, get your posture straight. Uh, standing more often is good. When you sit down, you start to slouch over, so just stand as often as you, as you can at work, at home. Uh, you know, a lot of times we're stuck at a desk, so just stand up and, you know, be at your desk and stand or just walk around the office or whatever it may be. That definitely helps out a lot. So, um, yeah, that's it for this video right now. There's other things you can do, obviously, but this video has gone on a while. So click the article right below this video to get more ideas and to get the specifics I shared in this video, the links to the products and different things that uh, will be helpful for rejuvenating your posture. My name is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. If you enjoyed this video, please like it below, favorite it, comment it, and share it with your friends, family, and whoever you feel may benefit from it. And I will see you in the next video on this channel. Thanks a lot for your time. Find Healthy Wild and Free on Facebook as well as HealthyWildAndFree.com, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, and make sure to live healthy, wild, and free. Bye.